Welcome to our preview of the 2023 softball season as we count down to opening day with our head coaches. And now we have Radford's Elisa Tassler with us. Coach, good morning and thank you for your time. Good morning. Thanks for, for having me on. Well, let's jump right into the upcoming year. You're getting ready for your second year with the program. So what what do you take from year one in, in terms of anything you might tweak, adjust, and what the general outlook might be for the upcoming year? You know, we, we were fairly young last year, and we're, we're going to continue that trend. Um, we brought in something like 12 new faces for us. So, um, and, and we lost, we only lost three people last year. Um, a biggie that we did lose was uh, was Jesse. She she's been a mainstay in our circle for uh, five years. So you know that was that was one of our number one things that we needed to secure and take care of was the circle. Um, our our staff is definitely going to be pretty young, but we're very excited about them. Well, let's let's start with the plate and uh, get the bats in our hands. Corey McMillan, one of your top returners. What are you expecting from her? And then who else is going to help when it comes to production? Um, Corey, Corey's going to be a big one, definitely for sure. Um, you know, the, the advantage to, to being a freshman and, and doing as well as she did in that freshman campaign is that not a lot of people had seen her. Um, people are people are going to see her this time, and, and they're definitely going to have a scouting report, and so she's she's going to have to battle that. Um, but she she works hard day in and day out, so I, I have full confidence that she's going to continue to to grow and, and have another good year. Um, that that sophomore class for us, they did a great job last year. I think they're going to continue to do a good job. Um, we definitely added some bats, and, and again, they're young, so you never know what, what you're going to get, but um, Kari Shedwick is going to come out and do some good work. Um, Cassie's going to do some good work for us. Um, we, we, we have quite a few. Avery Adkins, I, I think, has, has some, some potential. Um, the biggest thing for us is we increased our, our speed considerably, so as, as we did add some big bats, I, I think our biggest plus is the speed that we added. Well, hitting and running will get you so far, but you got to have the pitching. So let's talk yep. about that side of things. Who is emerging as the number one starter and, and what's the staff going to look like for this year? Um, we actually have a staff of six and it, it's, it's nice and deep. And I, I think when you're this young, you really need that. Um, I, I think Mallory Reeves is going to come on as, as a freshman and, and hopefully come out and, and surprise some people because I, I think she's she's been working hard and, and doing a great job. Um, one that, that transferred over from a junior college, um, Ellen, I think she's going to come out and, and do some good things. Um, Chloe actually just joined us as of semester. I think she's going to do some really good things. and. Uh, Natalie Jones is, is going to help, and, and then we have our, our two returners that um, they're, they're going to get some good time in the circle too. So like I said, it's, it's more about getting out there in that preseason and seeing who kind of moves up to the top. But I, I think, you know, between um, Skyler and, and Emily are, are going to put in some, some good time too. So like I said, it's, it's, uh, they're definitely young, but they're, I, I think they're going to make a huge impact. Well, everyone knows that the conference schedule is a gauntlet. Uh, you certainly learned that yourself. Uh, you know what to expect there. What can we expect in the non-conference schedule for Radford? What, what do the Highlanders have lined up that we can look forward to? Um, non-conference, I, I, I think we're, we're testing ourselves a little bit more, but we also didn't put ourselves in, in real, real heavy water right at first. So. Um, we're going down to Georgia Southern for a tournament. Um, we're going to ECU. Um, we're going to see Virginia Tech. We're going to see NC State. So, like I said, it, it's it's really a mix of you know getting out there and and getting battle tested with with some of the the UVAs and, and those kind of people. Um, but we also have those for that that young staff that we have coming in to try and just get our feet wet and, and get comfortable with, with where we're at as well. Well, we look forward to seeing it in action. Coach, we wish you and we wish all the Highlanders the best of luck this season, including your final preparations as we get things ready to, to start another wonderful season in the Big South. Thanks again so much for your time and uh, 
We look forward to seeing you in the ballpark. Okay. Thank you.